cases of such cases. Hello. My name is Nuket Vardar. Uh, I'm the director of LEZ UK, uh, which is an edtech company uh, based in London. Uh, I, as Henry mentioned, I will be introducing two video case textbooks uh, uh, for the purpose of this session. Right. Uh, the two video case textbooks that I will be using uh, are Brands Whispering and Multinationals Whispering. Uh, Brands Whispering, uh, the first one that I will be talking is a web and video based ebook for marketing, which was launched, launched in 2016. And the second one is uh, Multinational Whispering, which is a new video case collection, which is being put together for international business as part of our Erasmus Plus project. Multinationals Whispering is also using the original methodology that was used in uh, Brands Whispering. So let me first, uh, before going introducing the textbooks, I would like to talk a, a little bit about the literature and the research findings that we based our uh, textbook uh, production. Uh, while putting together these video cases, initially we made use of uh, uh, research uh, by, put together by Richard Mayer and his colleagues uh, back in 1990s on multimedia in learning. Uh, we are very lucky because uh, uh, Professor Mayer and his colleagues are still uh, continuing to produce new material for us, especially also in current topics like e-learning. Uh, all the research findings we had, uh, uh, we uh, went through, uh, were basically concentrating on three points. One was people learn better from words and picture than words alone. The second important uh, criteria was that cognitive load needs to be reduced in the design of multimedia. And therefore, for example, for the production of our video cases, we've uh, made use of these tips very, very extensively in order to be able to uh, reduce the cognitive load. The third important uh, point that research was uh, highlighting was the uh, uh, importance of good narrative in these video cases and the essential part that these video cases need to be linked to the curriculum to our syllabus. So all these points uh, basically taught us that uh, simplicity is the key in uh, use of multimedia in learning. Therefore, while putting together Brands Whispering, we said to ourselves that simple is more. Therefore, we had to stick to this uh, throughout our video production uh, efforts. Uh, now, a little bit about Brands Whispering. Uh, Brands Whispering, as I said, is a web and video based ebook uh, which was uh, developed by myself as a lecturer based on students' needs. Because as we know, as Henry also mentioned, today's students have changed quite a lot and their attention span is getting shorter. Therefore, we need different tools in order to be able to keep them engaged. Uh, uh, when you go to Brands Whispering website, it's actually a, a, a web page. Uh, it's like an like a ebook for marketing with different chapters that you would see in any internationally accepted marketing book. But each and every chapter is covered uh, with, a, with a video case. Uh, it was first launched in March 2016 as a free access uh, resource in Turkish. Uh, and at the moment, we've got 14 video cases, and, but we're still expanding. Uh, the, when you go to brandswhispering.com, you will see that lectures do not start with theory, uh, but instead the order of teaching is reversed. We start with real life video cases, but these video cases are scripted by lecturers knowing that they will be used in the class as a teaching material. But in order to be able to uh, get the attention of students, these videos are narrated by real company executives. And they're all uh, based on a problem solution method. Uh, we first hear a, a problem that the company faced and how they solved it. And the textbook information that we want to cover in that chapter, uh, they're covered with knowledge clips at the end uh, of a lecture to an engaged audience. We'll, know, we'll hear more about knowledge clips uh, when Philip is giving an example uh, to us. 
uh, we believe that this is a win-win situation both for academia and the business world because lecturers on one hand are uh, talking and teaching to an engaged audience uh, while uh, teaching material that will be relevant to students in their uh, business world. Uh, Brands with Spring, uh, at the moment, uh, the global distribution of the English version of our video cases are being done by the case center. Uh, with an English dubbing, we've got nine video cases with 29 accompanying teaching materials. And again, also we're expanding uh, the uh, English versions. If you want to have a look, you can uh, link, uh, go to case center's link. Uh, since 2016, we've, getting, uh, we've been getting anecdotal and uh, empirical evidence from users. For example, when we've done uh, research with the University of uh, Ljubljana, uh, students said that they learn from video cases because they can imagine things better or they can remember things better. We've also got empirical uh, results, uh, something like more than 16,000 users are using brandswhispering.com at the moment. If you're interested, I'm more than willing to give you more metrics on that. Uh, uh, also, uh, I would, we would like to propose one uh, possible way of using these video cases in today's uh, teaching environment, uh, where we have put together, uh, we feel that uh, you can actually use these video cases both synchronously and uh, asynchronously within the same lecture, uh, again, in order to be able to uh, break the monotony, both for lecturers as well as for uh, students. It can we propose to start with a synchronous session, giving background information before video is watched, uh, talking about maybe uh, concepts uh, that are related in that chapter, giving background information. Then the video uh, watching session, uh, we don't expect or we don't propose to watch the video at one go, rather we propose to use these videos as a discussion material. They can be used synchronously or asynchronously. Uh, after watching the video session, we propose to have an asynchronous maybe uh, session uh, with our knowledge clips. Uh, again, you're giving textbook information, wrapping up maybe, and linking the video case example to the theory that needs to be covered in that chapter. Followed by, a, again, a, a synchronous uh, session, uh, having a class discussion, uh, talking about maybe things that were not covered in the video case. Having said that, I would like very briefly talk about uh, the second textbook, uh, video case textbook, uh, Multinationals Whispering. With Brands Whispering, we wanted to test our pedagogy for different business studies areas across a wider geography. Uh, therefore, through Erasmus Plus project, uh, partnering with four uh, reputable four, uh, European universities, uh, we've started uh, applying the same methodology uh, to international business came up with multinationalswhispering.com. Multinationalswhispering.com uh, is, uh, is alive and we are uh, at the stage of producing video cases and uh, we hope that all our video cases will be finished uh, next year by this time. Our project is, by, is being coordinated by Catholic University of Leuven uh, with partnering universities, University of Leeds, Poznan University of Economics and Business, and University of Ljubljana. My uh, company, UK LZ UK, UK uh, is taking part as a UK SME. Uh, if you want to uh, keep up uh, with the developments, latest developments uh, with Multinationals Whispering, please follow us uh, through our social media accounts or just drop us a line so that we can uh, keep you posted about uh, developments. That brings me to the end of my session. Uh, now I will uh, uh, hand it over to Philip to take over. Thank you for listening.